What's up, you guys, and welcome to the Coffee Break Podcast. I am your host, Melissa, and this is my co-host, Elisa. What up, everyone? Welcome to the Coffee Break Podcast <laughs> with our amazing special guest, Tamega. Yeah. <laughs> One of my glorious friends. Now Melissa's glorious friend, too. Yeah. <laughs> They've just synced. Synced. Yes. And together. Everything is coming to fruition. <laughs> I like that word. That's a good word. That's like one of those Scrabble like twenty point words. 20 point word. It's a thirty point word. Excuse wow. me. Calm okay. down. That's how she wins. She she cheats, guys. She cheats the Scrabble. No. I mean, if you don't know numbers, it's easy. <laughs> Horrible. Well, welcome to our eleventh episode from today. Woo! Woo! One one eleven. Thank you for those who are sticking mm. with us. Oh, I thought she was judging me. <laughs> so she usually makes that face at work where she's like, really? So I thought she did to me. And I was like, what did I do? It's just my face. It bothers me. No. <laughs> just, I'm just waiting for the Game of Thrones. Just, sure. <laughs> wow, spoiler alert. Shame on your face. <laughs> spoiler alert. <laughs> kind of for those of you who are new the coffee break podcast is that friend you haven't seen in a long time that cousin that just moved back into town or when you finally got to hang out with your amazing co-worker <laughs> join us as we talk about media games and today's topic tattoos and batman it's actually my ringtone, so when people call me, it's just oh. like, din, 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 din. and then I just appear places. <laughs> She's like, I'm already here. It's like, you want to hang out? Here the citizens right here. are calling. I'm already here. Open your door. <laughs> Open your door. I'm out here. <laughs> Great Turn around. Turn around. <laughs> Open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and we even do a coffee of the day segment where we talk about one specific coffee and give you fun facts about it. Mm-hmm. Like today, we are doing our what is it, Musa? Turkish coffee. Yay! Yeah, right. coffee. <laughs> that wasn't even from Turkey. It was from a small area outside of Turkey, and they just want to take it. You know, I don't know, man. I don't know the logistics really. <laughs> coffee war or something like that. No. We don't really know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe it's just brewed from turkeys. That's why it's a Turkish coffee. Oh my gosh. That would be so weird. Oh my god. <laughs> Pluck the feathers, just like. Shh. Oh. <laughs> well, they do feed cats and elephants these certain berries um, in parts of Africa. Mm-hmm. And when they poo, they take the poo and they that's how they make the coffee. Oh, yeah, yeah. They use that, yeah. 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 I've heard and of it's that. supposed to be really good because the poo is just the berry flavor. Yeah, and yeah. It's, it just like fertilizes it is yeah right, just it, right there yeah, right. <laughs> i just i don't enjoy poo coffee <laughs> you never try it i mean what if the coffee i gave you right now was poo coffee why <laughs> why would it be poo coffee <laughs> because i wanted to share the experience with her and i did by um nothing like a fresh cup of feces <laughs> <laughs> ew <laughs> Oh my god! Ew! I think Tamika's is slowly killing Melissa with all her jokes. And- oh, she, she's got here. I've been she's sweating, sweating for how much yeah. I've been laughing. Even in the car on the way here. Yeah, before she even like met me just with yeah. my aura. She, was like, <laughs> she knew. She was- Ew, stop. <laughs> anyway, a Turkish coffee is... Fine coffee beans. Fine. It has to be fine. It has to be in your blender for like 20 hours. Just going. I'm kidding. Not 20 hours. But it has to be fine, thin coffee. It cannot be the coffee grounds. And it doesn't work. It doesn't work. <laughs> so what they do is they put the coffee with water and a little bit of sugar, if you're into that, into this um, into this pot looking thing, you know, with the long. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it looks like an hourglass on it. Yeah. It's called a, I'm going <laughs> to really butcher this, but a. Sesve? Sesve? <laughs> Sesve. Sesve. Um, in Turkey, and often called a ibrik everywhere else. And that's the pot you make the turkey coffee in. You bring it to a boil, and when it starts frothing, that's when you take it off the heat. The better froth it is, the better coffee is. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, so it's 
really cool. They also use it too when um in the hot sand. I don't know what kind oh. of style that is, but it's really cool how it's like it just heats up the yeah. coffee and the, and it looks really good. It does. It looks really aesthetically pleasing. Just like oh. it does. Just watching, <laughs> like I thought that was coffee grounds in the sand, but and then they were just picking it up to heat it up. But no, it's not. It's hot sand with you know heating up the coffee. Yeah, and then they serve it like that too because they already have the sugar in it. So. So basically, if you have children, just wait till they get home, take the sand out of their shoes. And yeah. the it's, there. it's there. It's just there. That's one way to do it. Very um, sanitized right there. I mean, if you want sock flavor, it's right there. Oh, okay, no. you can't make a disgusted face. We just talked about turkey feces. <laughs> I mean, we were talking about elephant It was elephant. Feces. It was elephant. Well, no. That's we're talking of... about how Turkish coffee is turkey feces. Oh. Is that what you meant? I thought you were putting them, like, through a shredder, and that's how the coffee was being made. I thought that's what she was talking about. Shredded turkey. Where did that even come from? <laughs> we're just here talking about poop. Yep. We're just here um, talking about poop. Um, it happens. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's the coffee of the that's day. <laughs> with yeah it's amazing so um yeah so today we're gonna be doing (laughs) tattoos and batman um but first tell us a little bit about yourself yeah yeah Um, yeah i forgot about her i'm kidding wow (laughs) guest special guest oh yeah (laughs) not just any guest i'm a special guest special guest special guest oh no i should never have said that (laughs) it's gonna go to my head my head's just gonna (laughs) bowling um well, I don't know. What do you guys want to know? I mean, um, so like Elisa said, um, we went actually to the same high school, just mm-hmm. at like different times. Yeah. Um, and she graduated at the same time as my brother. Yep. I'm actually, yeah, I met him first before her. Okay. Yes, yeah. but of course I'm the cooler sibling. <laughs> um, <laughs> don't spit out your coffee. I'm trying to. Um, and, oh God, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's just. I went to school. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're going to school now. I am. What going. are you ma- majoring in? Um, I'm going to school right now with uh, Grand Canyon University Online. Nice. Um, and I'm trying to get my degree in teaching with uh, special needs kids. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At work, she's like very good at handling like certain situations when it comes to like kids with special needs and without special needs when they just want to give us a hard time. <laughs> you know? Which we all want to give each other a hard time, honestly. Let's just be honest with ourselves. Let's yeah. just be honest. Yeah, so she's, like, really good with that. So I learn a lot from her. Oh, That's cool. Seven. I know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel like that hair flip would have been, like, so much more dynamic if I had, like, more hair. <laughs> it would have slapped me in the face. <laughs> All I need is just ex- extensions. Just <laughs> so let me just sit here, borrow my hair for right now. Ready, ready, one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Best hair flip, 2019. Vote for us, Academy Awards. Academy Awards, Oscars, right? Yeah, mm. come on, let's go. <laughs> but um, yeah, so starting with Tamika, uh, how many tattoos do you have? At this point in time, I have 32 tattoos um, that span from. Not head to toe because I don't have any on my head. No. But probably from like shoulders to toes. I have 32 tattoos. Yeah, it's pretty crazy how many she has. And it's so funny yeah, because we legit were like, we were at work and she was showing me a design that her tattoo artist was making. It was the one with the rose, the glasses one, yes. the rose gold glasses. Yeah. And she was like talking about it that, like at that moment. And then she's like, yeah, after this, I'm going to go get it tattooed on me. And I was like, I remember don't, that. Don't you, don't you <laughs> want to think about it? Don't you want to take over the weekend? She's like, no, no, I want, I want this. I, I trust him. I trust him. And I was like, what? It like shocked me. I was just like, you know, it's taken me a year to figure out what I want on um, me. <laughs> yeah, I feel like as this artist, we're just super picky we're, about what yeah. we want. But mm-hmm. it's just, we just never get them done because yeah. we just can't decide. Can't, <laughs> and I get that. Like, I've met people who are just like, oh my God, like, it's so amazing. You have so many tattoos. Mm-hmm. I don't know what I would want to get. And I just feel like, one, if you go to a place that you, like, know you can just, like I said, yeah. I really never, like, second-guess my tattoos because of the place that I go to. Mm-hmm. And um, I go to a place called Taddy McTats. Um, it's up in El Cajon. And I've been going to them for the last three years. So when I first started oh, wow. going to them, I only had eight tattoos. Oh, wow. So <laughs> that says a lot. <laughs> um, yeah. So I started with them, and I had eight tattoos. And just uh, as time spanned, like, I started falling in love with all these different things. And yeah. All the different artists have their own different styles that they incorporate, yeah. um, which is just amazing. And to me, it's like wearing someone else's art pieces yeah. on mm-hmm. you. 
um, which I love. And then once I fell in love with it, I just started making other people fall in love with it. <laughs> so um, at the shop, I'm actually known because I bring people with me all the time. Dang, you should get commission. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> um, but I actually, I brought my mom to get a tattoo there. So my mom got tatted there. My okay. sister got her oh, first nice. Tattoo there, and a few other ones after that, and then my mm-hmm. brother also got his tattoos there. So oh, it's wow. kind nice. of like our now like family establishment. That's cool. Um, because I like bring people there all the time. Yeah. I mean, um, it looks good on, on so far, so yeah, I would yes. trust that place it's honestly. Wonderful. It's wonderful. Yeah, like I like how it's different styles too. It's yeah. not mm-hmm. just like one style that they stick with. Like they can adapt to yeah. other styles. Mm-hmm. I t- I would design people's tattoos like I can do that. That's super fine with me. <laughs> but when like one of my clients were like. Oh, when are you going to get a tattoo? And I was like, well, I kind of want this, but I want this. I want a watercolor flower, mm-hmm. but I want a Totoro one. No, I want Disney. I want this. I yeah. want it. I want it. Like, I was like, I don't know what I want. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm the same way. I'm just like, oh, I want to get this first, and, uh, but I want to get this other thing first. Yeah. Which, like, I just need to just go over there and just get it done just because then do I'm it. just never going to. I feel like you should pick, like, two like, designs that you really, really, really like. Yeah. And then, like, me and Tamika just need to be, like, this one. And you don't know until they're done. (laughs) I mean, like, you have to be super okay with these, though. Like, yeah. yeah. You have to be, like, if you don't get one, you get the other, you're totally fine. Yeah. You don't get this one, you get the other one, totally fine. You can't, like, throw a hissy fit afterwards. (laughs) That's on you, permanently. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, unless you get it lasered off, but, of course, like, you can also do... That's more painful. That is a little bit more painful. I mean, I wouldn't know, but that's what I heard. Um, (laughs) I mean, you also have the option of, of course, getting, like, stuff covered up which yeah, is like that's placing right. art on top of art yeah. that's um, true. I think one of mine is actually a cover up of another piece that I got um, and it's just you really have to like listen to your tattoo artist so if they're telling you like oh this may not fit here or this is not going to work listen to them they know Yeah, they um, know they do, yeah, they they do. do. Like, because your skin acts differently than like paper would yeah. and your skin acts differently than like I don't know painting things yeah. and then some certain things <laughs> won't like canvases flow, yeah <laughs> some things won't flow correctly on your body if you mm-hmm. put them in a certain spot and it's you're just true, like yeah. it could look really awkward mm-hmm. and, like i've seen that in just like the yeah. terrible tattoo like compilations yeah. that i've seen yeah. oh my gosh i'm just like why why did you do that why, to yourself why did you, do this? Or why did you listen to your artist right why did you <laughs> oh, listen God. to the tattoo artist or that show that literally fixes up like mistakes of oh yeah artists. yeah and that's like amazing like one person had like a very very poorly drawn cookie monster on Ooh. their uh back of like lower back and they replaced it with like a moon like i forgot it was like a moon with a tribal art on it and it was like beautiful like you couldn't yeah. tell that there was yeah. a oh. horrible cookie monster on them really and you wow. definitely have to like take the time to find an artist that you're comfortable with and yeah an artist that does what you want them to do um I don't think you should ever really settle on like, oh, I'm just going to go to this person because they're nearby. Yeah. Like, no, no you research your artists. Mm-hmm. All yeah. of my artists have their own Instagrams, um, which I can give to you guys yeah, to show people. Mm-hmm. Um, and you really just have to go to them, get like, give them their, give them the idea you have and they'll just take it straight out of your head and just put it out there. Mm-hmm. Um, but also take into consideration like where you get it done. Yeah. Like yeah. on your body, the placement. <laughs> yeah. Um, Tattoos are painful. They're needles. Yeah. With ink. Yeah. Needle ink. Needle Just. ink. Um, so. Needle they're, ink. They're very, they're very painful. I think um, my most painful one is this cute little pineapple turtle. It's about that big. But it's on my Achilles. Like, directly what? on my Achilles. Oh, no. With color. Um, and it's, it's, it was intense. It was intense. Mm-hmm. Um, and then my biggest one is about nine inches long on my thigh. Um, oh, yeah, I was and it's a pirate nice. ship, and mm-hmm. I love it. Oh, that's cool. Um, but it definitely was really painful mm-hmm. afterwards. Yeah, the healing it's not, process. It's not just the I, getting the yeah. tattoo, but the healing process just feels like it's like having a really bad sunburn. Oh, and mm-hmm. it sucks so yeah. much, yeah. so much. One of her oh tattoos was like pink for like two weeks, and she was like, "It's supposed to go down a couple of days," <laughs> but it was just like it was also I think it was during camp or was it mm-hmm. after camp. Yeah, it was during camp, so it was just the sun and everything was. Like, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah. like your tattoo artist will give you instructions on like how to yeah. care for it and yeah. stuff, um, but like certain things are kind of out of your control. So like um, I had a piece, a really large piece on my calf, that. Um, It didn't get infected, but it was just I had a really bad reaction Mm -hmm. to the color in the ink. 
which just, it happens sometimes. Yeah. So you also have to be careful about getting color um, because it will sometimes have a weird reaction yeah. Yeah. with your skin. But I love it. I love it so much, and uh, I still plan on getting more. So, you know. I mean, she's still awesome, getting though. more. <laughs> I'm still getting more. She's like, I'm going to get more right now. <laughs> more and more. And like, more. after this podcast, she's going to go get another tattoo, actually. Exactly. No, <laughs> um, but no, I mean, they have, like, specials that they have. So, like, I'll go for the specials. Yeah. So, Teddy McTats is having a June special, which they haven't actually dropped any details for other than when it is and what time it's at. But they haven't dropped any designs. So, I'm, oh, like, okay. scouring their Instagram, trying to figure out what they're getting. <laughs> it's, I mean, some of the stuff, like, they all, they design their own flash stuff. So, like, I have this oh, okay. cute little flubber. I'm sure they'll take a picture of it. Oh, that is but cute. I have a cute little flubber oh, on my so arm. Cute. And it was a flash piece that I saw on there. It was just, like, I need flubber in, yeah. and, and on my body. I need, I need it on my body. <laughs> uh, Go over all the tattoos that's on your body. Oh, goodness. Not on my entire body? Yeah, entire body. Okay. No, that's yeah. a lot of tattoos. Yeah, it, um, 30. Three? 32. 32. 32. 32. Um, I want the deets. <laughs> wow. Okay. Calm down. Um, so, just on this arm, I have a sunflower, I have a lotus, I have this little cute little bug. It's really cute. It is a cute little it bug. It is cute. Um, I have an envelope that says love you more, which is something that I say to my mom all the time. Aww. She'll always say I love you and I say love you more or vice versa. Um, I have half of a mandala. I have the heart meter from How the Grinch Stole Christmas oh, yeah. mm-hmm. because it's my favorite Dr. Seuss mo- uh, movie book thing. Yeah. Um, I have Flubber. I don't have any more of this one. Okay. <laughs> uh, I have both of my clavicles done. Okay. So I have wow. a fish on this one because I'm a Pisces. And I have a heart on this side that I got um, made out of musical notes. Oh, okay. Um, oh, just because really cool. I love music. I live for music. Um, I have both of my shoulder blades done. I have um, flowers on one side. And oh my god, Dang. I have another one. I have heart. I have another. <laughs> it's, she doesn't know. I'm losing, I'm losing it. Um, I have a heart that I got done on the other side, um, and that was like my very first tattoo. And it's a heart with my own handwriting that says "Dance, Love, Sing, Live." Oh, that's cute. You know, it's quotes because I'm basic. <laughs> um, and then on this side, I have, um, I have mountains, and then I have a cloud with the sun coming out because that's cute like mm-hmm. annie the sun will come out tomorrow <laughs> um, i got this amazing hummingbird tattoo done that's not really at my cool. usual place i got it done um by another artist that i found on instagram that's a really nice one i love it it's really good it's really good, it it's really good. um and then i have this flash piece which is a paper airplane which I got because it's the first lesson I ever taught to any child ever was how to Aww. make a paper airplane. Very it's true. also why I fell in love with teaching. Mm-hmm. Um, I have my rose-colored glasses. Love you on rose. Yep. That's love the that one that okay. she was like, oh, yeah, he just designed it. Like, she was showing me the process for it, and then she's like, I'm going to go get it done today. And then um, when I saw her on Monday, she was like, look what, it, look what I, I got. And I was like, oh, you were serious. <laughs> yeah, so, like, I'll, like, reach out, and I'll be like, hey, I like this design. This is kind of what I'm thinking. I literally just told him that. I was like, I want rose-colored glasses. And he's like, so glasses that are colored pink? Or... No, I was like, no, I want sunglasses, but instead of lenses, I want them to roses. be roses. And then we just went from there. Um, I have this big piece on my shoulder, which is like a rose um, oh, yeah, that I got from really my mother. Pretty. And it's beautiful, and I love it so oh, much. Oh, yeah, that's it's really, really pretty. pretty. Yeah. Oh, I love the chandelier. Yeah, it has a little yeah, lacing on it. Super cute. Um, going down the line. I have a um, tribal cross on my side. Um, I have flowers that go up my leg with water, and they're flowers that mean a lot to me. So my dad lives in Texas, so I got the Texas blue bonnet. Um, Uh I've always lived in California, so I got the California poppy. That's cool. And then I was born in Hawaii, so I got um, Hawaiian plumerias on it. Nice. And then I got orchids uh, for my sorority that I'm in, Sigma Theta Psi. (laughs) Um, Shout out. And then I got a bird of paradise done on my calf. I have a Batman symbol on my foot with um, flowers on it because Batman. (laughs) Um, It's, I mean, there are bones in the foot. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. on the bone bone but yeah, it's, on, but the like, very, it's the, on the top of my foot yeah like yeah. the top of the foot in it's, general ooh. has like the thinnest amount of skin yes. so yeah. it's good you're gonna feel like you're gonna feel every, it oh. um, <laughs> but the artist who did it who works at Hattie McTats he owns Hattie McTats um he is amazing like he did both of my feet tattoos oh, wow. um and I didn't feel anything so oh nice I'm like 
Um, doing great, man. Right? Just <laughs> don't stop. Um, so I also have a my pineapple turtle on my Achilles. Yeah, nice. um, I have a unicorn, but he's like a chunky unicorn. Aww. He's kind of adorable. <laughs> he's like plus size unicorn. Nice. And then <laughs> on my other foot, I have like a book with the pages flying out. Um, just because I'm just a huge bookworm. Love books. Always have. Me. Um, <laughs> right? Just books, books, books. Books everywhere. Reminds me of like boats, boats, boats. From oh, yeah. I'm mother. Mother. <laughs> boats, boats, boats. 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 <laughs> boats. boats. <laughs> boats. <laughs> boats. <laughs> boats. <laughs> um, and then I have um, a ring around my ankle, which is um, my last name. Um, and then I have like the last name of my siblings because we have different um, fathers, so they have different last names. And it has like a sun and a moon put together on the on the ankle. Mm-hmm. And then I have like stars. And on this side I have the pirate ship, of course. And then I also got um, a jellyfish, and nice. I have a sea goddess that I had someone oh. design for me oh. um, that I love. So I think that's all of them. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, it's all of them. That's all Thank of them. Good job. Good job. <laughs> some like, cause she wears like, you know, we wore short sleeves, and yeah. she wears like the capri. So I see some of them, but then mm-hmm. she's like telling me all the other ones I never seen. So I'm like, what? what? It's like it's like magic. Yeah, it's like magic. I thought all the ones I could see was already the thirty two. <laughs> yeah. I was like, whoa. What is magic number thirty three gonna be? Do you know yet or not? I I have ideas for it, but I also want to see what the special is gonna be. At mm, Tidy okay, okay. So I kind of want to like look and see. My brother is really obsessed with me right now with getting a family tattoo. So oh. I have like themes for each of my limbs. Oh, that's cute. Okay. So I have like my family. My arm is like my family. So I have to get something from my brother. And then I have like things that I'm like in love with, which is mm-hmm. like uh, Dr. Seuss and like Flubber, which I watched when I was a kid. Um, and then I have like a whole like pirates and underwater thing over here and then like a whole flower thing over here. That's true. So I kind of try to keep everything within those like four realms of things that I want. Flowers, you stay in the slippery You stay. You don't move up. (laughs) That's super cool. Okay. Which one was the longest to make? Like to get tatted on? Um, the longest one was probably, um, the pirate ship just because we had to do the black at the outlining and then it was fully colored in also and it is about nine inches long so it was it was a really intense process yeah. and we had to like take black breaks. and gray or color oh no it's color oh wow um, so it was like doing all the stenciling and then doing the outlining and then going back in with color and then saturating and it was just a really long process oh, wow. we had to like yeah. take Dang. breaks and be like listen I need a stretch. We've been in the same position for a long time. <laughs> like, and you're like, I do too. Hold on. <laughs> and it's really bad when you're like getting a tattoo and then you start feeling like a muscle twin. Oh. Like, I've gotten a Charlie horse during a tattoo. And oh no! Intense. Oh. Intense. It's horrible. And you can't like twitch or anything because like if you do, you no. just mess it up yeah. already. Yeah, yeah, you have to be very still. Um, I feel like they should know so well. me because I would be that twitcher. Like, <laughs> just like, <laughs> it's just like a circle with like. Oh, on top of that, you can never sit still. So <laughs> right, yeah, I'm, I'm really bad with that. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, mm. I I would have scribbles all over my body. I would be twitching a lot. Just numb me. Just knock me out before. Get yeah, out. I mean, like, okay, here's the frying pan. Hit me with the frying pan. <laughs> on the seat, like I'm ready. <laughs> I don't want to move. <laughs> Especially if it's like a portrait or something like that. I just twitch. It's like all across the face. It's like, mm-hmm. and now she's got a giant schnoz. Schnoz. It's a scar from the battle that she was, I don't know. <laughs> so which one was like the most painful one? Um, was it the, the turtle's one? Is that it the was one? the pineapple one? turtle. That one was just intense. Um, and like I had like tears in my eyes. And I was like, oh my ooh, gosh. Ooh. And I was like, don't be a little. Oh, I can't. Think. But I was like, don't be, don't be uh, a baby. Don't baby. be a baby. Don't be a baby. <laughs> Try not to say cuss words. You got this. I was like, don't be a baby. You're not a wimp. You're not a wimp. You can do this. You can do this. And I'm like the only female, and like a like, and everyone else around me is males. Um, and I'm just like, don't be a baby. Don't be a baby for womankind. Don't be a baby. Like, like unite. <laughs> but I mean the. The tattoo artists that I go to, they're all men, but they're, like, the sweetest guys in the world. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember going there and getting tatted, and, like, it was a hot day, and they were like, hey, do you want something to drink? We're going across the street to go pick up drinks. Like, what do you want? 
um, which is just great, and I just yeah, I, I awesome. love all my guys. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. You don't get a lot of nice. Well, I mean, the ones I met, like tattoo, like night night. Ugh. Nice tattoo artist. There we go. Because when I would, like, design some of my clients, like, one of my friends, he wanted a geometric one right here. Mm -hmm. And um, I went to go meet with the tattoo artist. Mm -hmm. And I was telling him about, like, the design, telling him, like, where he wants it and blah, blah, blah. And the whole time the guy was just like, well, I mean, you're not the artist right now. And I was just like, dang. Ooh, I'm about to stick those, <laughs> those needles up somewhere you don't want them to be. <laughs> and I was just looking at him and I was like, you know, you're not taking my money. You're taking his money. We can walk yeah. out right now. Yeah. <laughs> he was just yeah. Like, yeah. Oh. And you definitely shouldn't settle for someone who's going to, like, be yeah. a horrible person to you. Mm -hmm. Like, I wouldn't want to get tatted by someone that I'm not comfortable with mm -hmm. or someone who I feel like talks down to me or yeah. um, tries to make me feel stupid about something that's going on in my body. Yeah, exactly. Like, I understand it's your art. I understand it's you yeah. doing the work yeah. but in the end in when I'm like 95 and everything's just drooping like <laughs> I don't want to remember that like I got this tattoo by With some a like a-hole yeah. who you know just was not someone that I wanted to get tatted by yeah um so I only really go to people that I feel comfortable with or that I trust because I'm just like it's also like the memories attached to it yeah like, I can tell you each artist who did all of my tattoos because they were all awesome yeah yeah, yeah that's good because it's like sweet. it's gonna be on your body and you just don't want to go back to like that space it's yeah just like mm. screw that because <laughs> yeah. really like when you look at something even like when it's drawing you're like you remember what you were watching or listening in the background you remember mm. what was happening around that time yeah. and when you look at like your tattoos that's gonna be forever in your body you want good memories you don't want yeah. something like horrible you're yeah. like and then on top of that <laughs> like the artwork itself or the piece itself it's gonna mean something to you and someone's not gonna appreciate that like the meaning behind your your like idea mm -hmm. it's like that's kind of messed up yeah it's yeah because it's like really personal like, it it's like a person like a lot of the pieces that you, normally people get are really personal and it's just like if you tie if that ties into like a bad experience it's just gonna mm -hmm. ruin it entirely yeah, yeah. like when people put like the names of their boyfriends, like boyfriends, not husbands, mm -hmm. not like 25 plus years uh, of yeah, like yeah. married life. No, I knew someone from when we went to college. Um, she just started dating this guy, like my friend, and she was just like so in love with him, even though they were having so many issues, mm. that she showed me she got tattooed his name on her ribs. Nope. Yeah. Nope. No. And like in less than a year, they broke up. Oh, because no. she was uh, so over him already. <laughs> I just, like, that's on my don'ts list. Like, so yeah. like, I have things that I specifically won't do when it comes to tattoos. So I won't get tattoos on my hands or my neck or my face. Um, Hope not. Instructions from my mother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I won't do face, neck, um, or hands. Mm -hmm. um, just because on top of that, I'm also, I'm also wanting to be a teacher. And I don't mm -hmm. want to, like, have these things that are just kind of like, hey, children, look. <laughs> I mean, the kids love kids love tattoos. Yeah. Um, the kids I used to work with, like they love um, like looking at them and being like, "What's this? What's this? What's this?" Yeah. Um, but I just don't want to have that. I like putting that ideal out there of like this is something permanent on on my body, and I made this bad decision, and now I have to live with it. Yeah. yeah. Um. So that's one of my don'ts, and I don't do names. The only names that I do are like family names because they're with you forever. Yeah. Yeah. Like you can't can't divorce family's family is family. <laughs> family, is family. family, family so um i would never get a significant others um that's scary <laughs> yeah i would never get a significant other's name and i learned the hard way not to give tattoos to significant others True. um which is really it's not it's not good, not good. <laughs> just don't do it just not that it. i not that i gave him a tattoo <laughs> but um i did like win a tattoo and then give it to his significant other oh who, okay um turned out to be horrible person so you know there's that don't <laughs> well, give don't give your tattoos away. like lessons. don't give tattoos away especially when they're free <laughs> mm -hmm. especially when they're free because they're really expensive yeah they're very mm -hmm. expensive uh two years ago at comic-con they were giving uh this it was like a pop-up ta tattoo place and very oh, like that. a very amazing tattoo artist was there and um it was free but the waiting time was like three plus hours mm -hmm. like there was nothing shorter than three hours and that was the whole time during comic-con and you would have to wait outside this area and you can get whatever you want it can take as long as you want that's why it was like three hours or more mm -hmm. uh -huh. and it was just crazy like one of my um friends friend was there and she was talking about getting the whole 
Batman, like, logo on her yes. back. Yeah, and, like, the night sky wow. and, like, the lighting, the yellow light and everything like that with the mm. city on the bottom. And she was telling us that. And I was like, how long That's is that going to take? That's going to take a lot. It time. was, yeah. And the thing was, like, when we went to see her, it was already halfway through the day. Wow. And the thing is, like, if they stop, they will tell you to go home. You have to wait again the next day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so she just ended up getting, like, a little small tattoo right here of Batman saying, like, oh, Batman on it and stuff like that. Like, the old cartoon style. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it was just, like, I mean, at least you got it for free. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got something yeah. out of waiting literally a whole day. Yeah. Before. Yeah. But they always do it every year. I forgot what the spot was. So if you ever mm. want to try checking it out, see how long the wait is, Miss Tammy. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I... Not that I don't love a good free tattoo, but I feel like there's free tattoos from reputable artists, and there's like, hey, my brother just learned how to do tattoos. Oh, I you know. want one for yeah. free? Oh, like, oh, yeah, they'll no. take them in a pass. Like, that doesn't seem like a good idea. Audi 5000, goodbye. Because <laughs> if anything will scare you away from t- getting tattoos, is getting a bad tattoo or seeing someone with an infected tattoo. Yo, like, yeah. That, yeah. That's, no. That'll give you nightmares. That's horrible, yeah. That'll give you nightmares. Mm-hmm. I've seen, I don't know if you guys watch um, Super Sore. It's on Hulu. No. It's, no. It's Super Sore, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I forgot the actress name, but she's amazing. Amy? Amer- America no. Ferrer. America, America Ferrer. Wow, Amy is the character's name. Yeah. Sorry, America <laughs> Ferrer. She's in it, but one of the employees um, want, wants to be a tattoo artist. She's still going to school. And one of the guys was like, oh. I just oh, saw that Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, she tries tattooing but every time she messes up like it has a top hat so it's like she replaces it with the top hat part so it's a very horrible potato looking face with a <laughs> giant top hat over it because she didn't know how to fix it she doesn't she's really just, bad and that's just like my nightmare and <laughs> it's like to get a tattoo have it be bad or to have them be like oh i'm just gonna fix it really quick it's okay you look good. You look good. Just You're don't like, look. What did you do to me? I'd be so terrified after that. I'm just like, like I'm uh, never getting tattoos again. <laughs> I don't want to come near you again. Traumatized. You know? oh my God. But I also always knew that I wanted tattoos. Like I remember being in high school and like having like fake tattoos. Mm, um, me. Just <laughs> every day. Every day. Like anytime it wore off, I just stuck another one on there. And I would long- actually draw like. Just draw the tattoos yeah, on my I, arm. And my mom's like, what's that? <laughs> I was like, it's nothing. Well, I always have them on my ankles, arm. and I feel like that's, like, a really awkward, just, I'm going to draw this right here. Don't look. Let me just do that, unless your friend is, like, willing to go down there and do it for you. Just, it was like, always gymnastics. On my arms, Flip though. it over. <laughs> do it in the mirror. Just, I mean, nowadays, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of kids are very flexible nowadays, so uh, anything could happen. <laughs> oh, my goddaughter is, like, super flexible. She just... She'll just be sitting there and then just, like, throw her leg behind her head. And you're just like, okay. okay. I know. There you go. You turn to your left and there's foot right there. You're like, oh. Just, well. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, she's, like, three. Hello. She's, like, three. And we'll just be sitting there. And then she'll oh, wow. just take her foot and just behind her head. I've never seen a three-year-old done that. Like, you know? And we work with three-year-olds. I've never seen them do that. And you know, just, just, just like, uh, flipping your hair. Just, just <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh that's my amazing. Goodness. I love it. So, Batman now. Oh. Mm, which, it first appeared in 1939 in the Detective Comics series. Mm. Just letting y'all know in the DC Comics. Boop, boop. <laughs> nailed it, nailed it. Um, Batman's just amazing. Like, I've gotten into full-blown arguments with people <laughs> about Batman. That's, like, how passionately I yeah. feel about him. Mm-hmm. Um... I think one of my, like, worst debates with someone about Batman was someone was like, well, Superman's better than Batman. And I was no. like, listen, you're about to get educated. <laughs> um, okay, Superman is, like, an unlimited, like, human being. Like, yeah, I've already being. said before. He's, no, he's, he's too powerful. He's too powerful. And the thing is, like, okay, Batman twice defeated Justice League because he's just so good at finding the weaknesses mm-hmm. and he studies people and yeah. he figures them out. Because he's the world's greatest detective. He is the world's greatest detective. <laughs> like, that's what makes him great. <laughs> but on top of that, like, if you read the comics with Superman, like, Superman's an alien, so he doesn't understand the customs of being, like, a human. And so he does all <laughs> these things that are horrible. <laughs> like, um, there was, like... A comic that he was in where like a friend of his died in a car accident so he was like I wage war on all cars 
All cars. <laughs> they're all evil. Every single one. And I'm just what? like, I'm like, all cars? All like, cars? All, all of them? Cars? All yeah. of them? Um, or like... Should be riding horses? Right? Just, just... <laughs> You get out of that car. Just like crushing cars everywhere he went. <laughs> and he's super strong. So he, he'd just be like, he'd just be like. Mm. <laughs> just every day, every day on the news, you see him just going like. Just your car. And then I think the one that just kills me every time is there is one after Lois Lane dies and he falls in love with another woman and they have the coitus. Um, they have the coitus, but they're like Love floating. That. I didn't want to say the word. No. It's fine. Um, it's fine. They have the coitus, but they're like floating above Lois Lane's grave. Like, oh how petty are you? are you? Like, you know what? This is the grave of my last love of my life. And like, you trying to smash. Wow. Like, and I'm just like, can we wow. not? Can we not? Dang, Teddy. That's like Romeo not dying, and then like Juliet dies, and he's just like, "Listen, you wench, let's go." Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> you wench, <laughs> come hither, wench. Bring it that ass here. <laughs> I feel like if you take anything oh and just try to God. make it old English, old it's just English. the it's best. Amazing. It's just the best. Um, and um, when I was when we went to college together, remember that group of friends that would like call me Batman. All the oh time? yeah, yeah, they would call me Batman because I forgot. Oh, I was just wearing a lot of Batman stuff because I yeah. had like, the Batman. Like I love Batman at the time anyway. Mm-hmm. But I got a Batman lanyard. I got a Batman shirt. Not this one, but another shirt. Yeah. And um. One of my friend, like, I caught a friend in a lie, and then my other friend was like, oh, it's Batman, because the greatest detective. And then I was like, I've only solved one case in front of you. That doesn't make me the greatest detective yet. So I was called Batman for three and a half years by this group of friends. I wish that my nickname was Batman. That'd be great. That'd be fantastic. Just tell the kids to call you Miss Batman. Miss Batman. Miss Batman. Miss Batman. Just appear appear behind them, just, you needed me. No, never mind. I I want that teacher now. <laughs> I would love to be able to do that because he just appears out of nowhere, and it just baffles me. Like baffles me. How do you just appear? Yeah. Like and I can't walk from place A to place B without either tripping or making noise. <laughs> yeah, it's like in Justice League the series, both in Unlimited and um, the Justice League. Mm-hmm. He like one time one of the the people we were gonna forget I forgot her name, but she was all like trying to prove that the Justice League was bad. Like, she was trying mm. to take them down and everything like that. And I remember she was, like, talking smack on the phone, and then Batman appears in her bathroom. It's like, I heard you were talking smack. <laughs> I mean, that wasn't the fact, but he was all, I heard what you were saying. I'm gonna stop you right here. And it was just like, where did you come from? And, like, the whole series is just him saying, like, Hey, what's up? And you're like, oh, oh Batman. And like, it's the ultimate. The ultimate. Like, the whole time, like, I would get scared. I'm just watching. Like, oh, Batman, you weren't even supposed to be in this episode right now. Now, you also have to consider that, like, it's a good thing he's a good guy. It is. Because, like, good, yeah. if he yeah. was a creeper, like, mm-hmm. just get down in the shower and he's just like, hello. I know. I am the knife. I know. <laughs> <laughs> get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. <laughs> I remember oh, in the God. new 52 when they introduced Batman, like, everyone didn't like him at first because they thought he was a criminal. Yeah. And when the um, there's an alien species coming from um, Doomsday, Doomsday was trying to take over uh, Earth, and mm-hmm. he sent his creatures, and they all called him Batman because they thought it was like, Batman's evil, look, it's Batman, he's gonna come and get you! So they were like, other kids will tell other kids, like, Batman's gonna come and eat you alive, and blah, 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 blah. And one kid was talking, and another, like, one of those like, aliens mm-hmm. swooped and took a lady, and they were like, Batman's real. Batman's real. <laughs> oh, my God. And then the real Batman came and saved them, and then they were like, oh, we love Batman, and whatever did you do that shit. Like, oh, my God. It's like, you guys hated him at first, and now you love him because he saved your life. I mean, it makes sense, I guess, but... <laughs> I mean, plus, there's been so many different Batmans that it's just, has. like... They Listen, have been, yeah. Listen, like, the one Listen. we were talking about earlier, one yes. where Bruce dies instead of his parents, mm-hmm. and his mom becomes a Joker, and his dad becomes Batman, yeah. which he's all about guns and killing people. Oh, <laughs> my like, god, He's the complete opposite of, yeah. like, Bruce. <laughs> yeah. He's like, listen, you gonna die today. <laughs> you gonna die today. <laughs> and, like, 
like Harley Quinn's like alternate universe is uh, called Yo Yo, and she like has the same voice and everything, and the pink tails, but like she uses yo yos. And I thought that was kind of weird. I don't that know. Is yeah, weird. it was weird. Like the whole time she's like hitting on him too, like the whole time in. She's working with his ex, who's the Joker. Well, yeah. wasn't there, like, a romance between Batman and Harley Quinn, like, in Listen, a one? Listen, Batman, Batman's a stud. Probably. Probably. Batman's a <laughs> stud. Probably. Probably. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> in some series or alternate universe, which, actually, in a Batman movie, they talk about all the alternate universes. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Because really? you watched Watchmen before? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's a movie where it's, like, their universe, and they were trying to take over uh, the original ones because mm-hmm. they need a new place they're like we want a new place yeah. mm-hmm. and um the whole time the opposite of uh batman owl the owl man mm-hmm. guy, he was that crazy like very very crazy and mm-hmm. he was uh he was gonna blow up all the universes because he just felt like it except for theirs because he only wanted to be the only owl man not batman oh interesting. So <laughs> like i'm gonna blow up all the universes and, blah, 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 blah. and yeah it was like batman was just like it's like you can only have one good Batman, and then all the alternative Batmans are crazy. Like they're so crazy. Like yeah, they took all the craziness from this one Batman and spread it out across the universe. Because there, there is crazy Supermans, but they're mm. also humble Supermans. You know, they have a good balance and good balance yeah. of Wonder Woman. But then there's Batman. You're just gonna make them crazy no matter where you go. <laughs> Well, because yeah. everybody shows Batman. He's the best. It's true. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's <laughs> what the, the guy said. He's the best. Um, he's the best. And I mean, like, over the years, there have been a lot of different Batmans. Mm-hmm. And, like, yeah. you know, everybody's just like, who's your favorite Batman? And I'm like, there's just so many. And yeah. for different reasons. Like, to me, the hottest Batman was Val Kilmer. Yeah. Like, he was just the hottest mm-hmm. Batman. He was suave. He was intelligent. <laughs> and, like, he also... Had the cool kid man, so that's true. Me. True that. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, George Clooney as Batman. You didn't I mean, like him? I that mean, was a cringy movie, honestly. <laughs> it was very like punny, it which was. is great. It's very like hokey pokey the type Arnold of like. <laughs> Let's just pretend Arnold. that one didn't exist. Even, even I mean, I will, I will admit that that scene where you zoom in on George Clooney's butt in the bat suit, True. that will always exist. That would, yeah. Always. Because mm-hmm. he had a peach. <laughs> um, but I think, like, I think my overall favorite Batman will always be Keaton. Keaton's, like, OG Batman to me yeah. forever. Mm-hmm. He's Keaton. Like. True. True. And if you don't know. Now you know. Now you know. <laughs> now you know. Um, what was the, what's, I forgot his name, it's Christian Bale, right? Christian Bale. The last one, yeah. Mm-hmm. He was pretty good as Batman. He was. Do you hear about the new one? Um, The new actors taking over Don't even get me started. Don't even get me started. <laughs> I mean, it's just. <sighs> Do you know, Melissa, who it is? No. It's Robert Patterson from the Twilight series? <gasps> yes. Yeah. Ooh, no. <laughs> well, no. No, okay, okay, from the Twilight series, he was really bad. Um, Let's be honest, like, a lot of acting was pretty bad in Twilight, but he's been in other movies where he's been on point right. with it. But it's But Batman. he's, like, an indie I actor. He is. But but I don't know, he Batman. might be good. I mean, He just needs to I'll stick to the a, indie scene, he, honestly. Just, uh, he's not a, No. Mm-mm. I mean, he's just not who I look at when I think of Batman. Me either. I think, like, I think of Batman, I'm thinking suave, debonair, doesn't sparkle in the sun. Like, <laughs> well, dang! <laughs> like, I mean... I mean, like, he's got the broodingness going on yeah. with, that works for him, but mm. I still, like, I cannot... I cannot yeah. unsee him as... Edward? Yeah, basically. Yeah. I like Ben Affleck, like, as Batman too, for a bit. He was, no. it was, he worked hard for it, though. Like, Ben I believe Affleck you. Was, I just, I like how he I just I didn't even like it. it. Like, I didn't like I feel it. like Ben I Affleck like just <laughs> went through the entire movie with a cold. And was just like, <laughs> really trying. He was like, guys, I don't need a lozenge. I don't need a cough drop. <gasps> I don't need any of this stuff right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't. Like, I mean... I didn't like. Uh, I don't really like yeah. that version of Batman in the beginning. So mm. um, it was like. Yeah, the director. So I was not part. about. I was not about it. Anyways, mm. I just don't really like that really bulky, <clears throat> like Batman. 
Mm. Like, just really squared. Oh, yeah, very yeah. squared. Yeah, because, like... I didn't like it. Batman's very, like... He's he's buff, but he's lean, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? And tall. Mm-hmm. But I feel like, like, with Ben Affleck, he was kind of, like, just a square... He was just, like, back. a freaking tank the yeah. entire time. I'm just like, do you, can you even run? Can <laughs> Like, what's going on here? Yeah. Just all, like, all arms. <laughs> and, like, just little twigs for, like... <laughs> Toothpick man. Oh wait, no, it's Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Batman did. Run, run, run! It's Batman. You can. can't catch me on Batman. <laughs> yeah, Tammy's killing me right now. I just say I don't know. I don't know. He's, he's definitely very square up top, he, and you know. Mm-hmm. He kinda, just didn't work for me as uh, Batman either, oh. so. I mean, I kind of just gave him the effort of, like, you know, he's trying. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, he gave it his all. Like, during one of his interviews after uh, Batman vs. Superman came out, mm-hmm. when they told him, like, oh, not a lot of people liked it, he was trying so hard not to cry in front of the camera. Oh, because yeah. Because he yeah. worked hard, you know what I mean? And it's not 100% his fault what happened. You have to think about, like, the directors, the producers. Yeah, and, no, like, no. Like, whoever that, hired him. I just feel bad because, like, yeah, whoever hired <laughs> him decided to put him in that place and made him act like that, too, or he wouldn't have a job kind of thing. <laughs> that's the whole, like, that's, like, writers. That's, that's the writers. That's the writers right there, yeah. But, like, uh, you should sound like this. Mm. <laughs> His voice sounds normal, like nice, like that. No, he got to sound like this. No, no. Listen, put him outside in the cold. Let him get a cold. Bring him back inside. Bring him back in. Shoot, like Sarah. Right. <laughs> and action. <laughs> I think the only uh, the only time I actually liked him as Batman was in um, uh, the Justice League. That was- not, that's only because all of their banter together worked. But other yeah. than that, like, I didn't like him in the actual, well, like, Batman. You have, movie. like, Gal. What's her last name? Gal. Um, Gal Gadda. Gadda. Gal Gadda. Gadda. Where she's, Gadda. she was amazing in Wonder Woman. Like, mm-hmm. Wonder Woman was great. And yeah. then, like, just have her there. And what's his name? The the one that's uh, Aquaman? Um, well, Jason. Jason. Momoa. Momoa. Like, just put them in there and... Yeah. Did Listen, you... no one watched that movie for Batman. Everyone and watch... everyone watched it for Jason. Jason. And Jason. Gal. Just Not even... I mean, <laughs> Gal, I, I, yes, I like but Gal. Jason. Jason. Like, ah, even though just... Aquaman wasn't great. It's the reason why I, I didn't. Knows. I didn't watch Aquaman. I haven't seen it. No. But it's just because I'm just, my body's not ready. <laughs> My body's not ready Lord, to watch mercy. to watch an entire movie of Jason Momoa. <laughs> I mean, like, I just, I, he's... He's not just, like, amazingly sexy, but <laughs> on top of that, he's, like, a really nice human being. Yeah, he's, he's a human really human being. Being. He's just a nice human being. Like, I just, I can't. It's yeah, like, yeah. all his posts on Instagram just, like, warm my heart. Yeah, he's, and <laughs> like, he's just uh, fun with, like, the fans he meet. Like, that series of, like, all where were the couples... And he would just push the boyfriends and husbands away. Yeah. And it's like, the girls are like, yay! Yeah. <laughs> like, he was like, great. okay, yeah, sure, let's do it. And then he does it. And he's like, okay. And everyone just started doing yeah. it. It was fun. He's just an amazing man. Mm-hmm. I feel if like... you're watching this, yeah. I love you. <laughs> now I gotta tag him in these posts. <laughs> tag him in all of them. Got to be. Gotta watch it. Watch this episode specifically. This one specifically. Because I love you. <laughs> Number one fan right here. Awesome. Well, that is all the time we have for today. Awesome. We're going to have to bring her back to continue yes. more on yes. just Batman and DC <laughs> Comics because we're both mm-hmm. DC Comics fan. You're yes. a DC Comic fan or Marvel fan? Or you don't really I'm, care? I'm both because yeah, I grew both. up with both of them. But, oh. um, yeah, but, like, I like Marvel more just because Spider-Man's my shit. Well, you know what? I will give that to you because Spider-Man right now <laughs> is, like, on point with the Spider-Verse. Oh, my yes. God. We can yes. get into a whole subject. <laughs> yes. On that, we'll do that for another episode. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that is all the time we have today. Mm-hmm. Thank you guys for joining us. This is sponsored by Elite Twenty Three Shopping. Mm-hmm. Would you like some new summer clothes, some new bikinis? We got new sunglasses <laughs> going on, some bags <laughs> that are happening right now. Well, come check out our store at Elite Twenty Three Shopping dot com. Use code. <laughs> 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 you know what? This is the last time she's here. <laughs> Watch we get more views because of her. <laughs> now she's part of this. <laughs> there were two number three. Number three. Use code C B P again C B P, which is gonna be right here. Um on your discount um 
well, on your checkout with a discount of 30% off your total purchase. Again, <laughs> CBP for 30% off your total purchase. Thank you again for joining us and joining with Miss Tammy. Woo, woo. We shall see you guys in the next episode.